It's exactly 100 years since Porrick Pierce spent his last summer here in Rossmuck. The writer and revolutionary had built this cottage in 1909 after buying the site in Connemara. It was a place he drew inspiration from. There's loads of people here, the older people in the area would would have heard from their peers, like about peers and what he what he was up to here, and even local folklore here has it that he could be seen walking around the area, cycling around the area, sitting here and sitting there on crocons and cardigrachy and all that stuff like that. He'd be writing away and stuff like that. Pierce's cottage attracts thousands of visitors each year, but its significance in the birth of the nation is now being marked in a more formal way. As part of the Ireland 2016 centenary programme, work is being carried out at a number of key locations around the country to leave a lasting legacy from next year's commemorations. This area should be a sort of a mecca for people to come and visit, tourists from the outside, but also ourselves to celebrate who Pierce was and what he brought to us, the Irish language revolution, his educational philosophy, the literature which he wrote, and of course, later on, the political revolution. The sod on the project was turned by the Taoiseach today. Preliminary work on the building is already underway. It's expected to be completed by this time next year. The design for the new visitor centre takes its inspiration from Pierce's cottage itself in terms of its proportion, the pitched roof form, but in modern materials. So it will sit in this rural landscape alongside the cottage as if it's always belonged here, although it's a new piece of contemporary modern architecture. The visitor centre here is one of eight so-called permanent reminders being funded by the state to commemorate the centenary of the 1916 Rising. Work on seven other projects in the Dublin area will begin in the coming months. Pat McGrath, RTE News, Rossmuck, County Galway.